crazy. My, uh, just hanging around town panhandling and talking shit and showing where I'm bivouacking is doing just as good as, uh, my kayak videos. Bet, I mean, better. I've got a, a YouTube short of me just talking smack about something that happened that's 30 seconds long. It's got a thousand views and added up to an over, over an hour of, uh, view time. Well over an hour. The best kayaking video I have is like 200 views. Another one's got like 150. There's a few more that's got between 20 and 30. But the most of them are uh, most of them are between five and ten. Some of them are less than that. Almost all my uh, like the one I'm doing now, the current video of what I'm doing day by day, I, my help uh, playlist. They're doing just as good or better than my kayaking videos. I'm still gonna upload all the kayaking, all my old catalog just because the sheer weight of uh, videos will give me views and I, I kind of want to see what's going to happen when I do the bike touring old catalog bike bike touring videos because if I haven't done one of those yet I haven't uploaded anything like that yet it might get a lot of views hell yeah I've got some uh, panhandling videos just recently from my last trip to Chicago but I'm afraid to, to upload them because I wasn't being very circumspect. I was showing exactly where I was at, exactly where I was panhandling, exactly where I was, I was practically giving the address away. And I'm not gonna be doing that next time. I'm gonna be showing what I'm doing, but I'm gonna be keeping the camera close to my chest when I'm panhandling and really close to my chest when I'm camping in my hangout spots. I'll show it, but I'm gonna to try to keep it real circumspect and not be able to show too much where people can pinpoint where I'm at. And, uh, uh, yeah, you get me? And I wasn't being that way before. That's what's... Because I've got some videos. I've got some SD cards in my possession right now for me panhandling up in Chicago. Kind of interesting. Showing me in the hotel room, counting out big stacks of 20s. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. I'll be doing that next time. I'm going to be up there here pretty soon. I don't know if I'm going to wait around for this memorial. I'm thinking about just taking off here pretty soon. Even if it's raining. I'm getting to the point where it's like, hey, you know what? Maybe there's not going to be any good weather. It might be raining every couple of days for all summer. I might have to just deal with it, you know? The only problem is if it's raining every, well, every day, and while I'm on the road, it, it'll be dangerous doing it like that. And to boot, you're not going to be able to see anything, though, because the visibility's so low. Could be interesting just watching me go through it with bad weather doing a bicycle tour. But I, I, seem to, I, I tend to think that the nice sunny weather where you can actually see the trees off in the distance, the forest and the bluffs, that should, could be better, you know? I don't know. I might just be having to take what I can get. Oh, well, it's going to be raining. There might be a couple of days of sun, a couple of days of rain, a couple of days of sun, a couple of days of rain. I'm going to have to leave here pretty soon because i got to get up there. I like to be up there at least by the first of April Fool's Day, baby, okay? April Fool's Day. It'll still be cold up there, too. It'll snow maybe in April, you know? But I'll get at least, in April, I'll get half the month will be sunny. That's $1,500 that I could save more than half of. I could save maybe $1,000 of it. Basically, every just as a rule of thumb, even if I do worse than I've ever done up there, I could still, if it's like only three quarters what I did last time, I'll be able to save $1,000 a month. So five months, 5,000 bucks. You know, the more I make, the better the next adventure is going to be. Maybe this next kayak trip will be better. I'll know. Don't do any long cuts, more than about five minutes. Have a drone where you can get some action shots showing the whole thing from above while you're on the river kayaking. Same thing when you're camping, show the whole camp spot. Do drone shots from in town when you do get to go into town. Have a sail where I'm going, instead of going six miles an hour, I'm going 12 because the current's like three or four. And I was going like three or four with the pedal kayak. So I was going like six miles an hour, five, six. With the sail, you can go like 10 miles an hour on just a lake. Going down river at three or four at the current, it's happening to you like 12. I could do 100 miles a day. I could get that whole kayak trip done in 10 days with the sail. Thinking about it. Not even thinking about it. I'm going to do it if I have the money. I'm going to get the sidekicks, the Amanaka kit, the sail kit, the handle, the knob for the handle. Uh, and the hatches. That should help things out a lot. I'd almost like to not even have that bike on it. 
just 25 less pounds makes everything cleaner, easier to, to access everything. But I need that bike. I do. Disaster can strike and I need that bike to ride out of trouble. And I need something to maybe, I might leave it at the kayak, with the kayak in the storage space. I don't know why I'm talking about that kayak trip. I should be talking about what I'm doing now. These videos are doing pretty good.